talk over as it's happening, or how did it happen that you took it apart so much? So we know what to do. <laughs> it's easy if they switch. Usually, usually we have a mismatch. If they show, we know where the guy's going to be open. Um, I haven't seen a lot of teams show. Like, they, the old on, on Rhino, yeah, they do something good. Most nights they do. I mean, it's about half and half. When they put uh, Bielisa in or whatnot, mm -hmm. he, was, he was showing. And we pretty much knew that. They did that in the first half. So do you like that when they, you go to that smaller lineup and all of a sudden they there's no way to take away all the three. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like we we don't think that in depth about like what lineup is in. We play the way that he plays. You know, Clint's in, he's gonna roll. Rhino's in, he's gonna mix it up. But we just we play, and luckily we got like enough cerebral guys that we take with there. Does it amaze you sometimes? You hit ten threes in a quarter. Do you still oh, get amazed? I was, a, I was a fan of night for sure. I was a fan of night just because the game was so close, and then to see it open up like that, and you know, Rhino. Uh, I think you know at times it's hard for not only him but for others to see his value to our team. You know, and <laughs> he just kept backing up. You know, the three he just kept backing up, and that opens up the court so much for everybody else. And uh, that's big, you know, in the game, the way we started off, you know, sluggish, struggling, and for us to push through and win, that's, I think that's why we're we having so much fun. When someone, gets, when someone gets that hot from three, you make it a point to try to set them up consistently, keep, keep check, right? Yeah, absolutely. And what's cool is that Ryan still kept making the right plays. You know, and same thing with James. He went and hit his three threes in a row. They sent the trap at him and left Luke out of it. And that's... Long way to play, I tell you that one.